have worked. Everything in the incantation should have been perfect. Was it the ingredients then? Hmm. Maybe the bell. The higher pitch bells might help with reaching the stronger spirit. Hmm. Ah, uh, the spell did work. A superior resurrected being. <laughs> well then, tell me your name. Hello. Can you speak? Um, nod your head yes if you can understand me. That, nod once again if that was indeed a nod, please. Oh, that was a nod. Fantastic. Now, try to communicate verbally. Hmm. Well, the spell, I'd say, was an 80% success. Hmm. Well, perhaps we should see about your mobility before confirming that. Um, take a few steps forward. All right, now face forward and take a few steps backwards. Good. Now to the left. And the right. Good, you're doing fantastically. Now slowly and carefully, lean forward. I need to see how the stitching is holding. Ah, uh, yes, good. Now slowly stand up straight, please. Perfect. Hmm. Well, you don't move around like a rogue, but you were a warrior, so your flexibility just originally might not have been the best to start with. There's still room for improvement with the spell, then. Maybe the quality of the ingredients needs to be improved. Maybe a fresher corpse? Hmm. Hmm. All right, then. Well, while this wasn't perfect, this is a step in the process of research, one that I am actually quite happy with. Now I have someone to talk with while I'm working. Oh, uh, can you write? Here, a piece of paper and quill so that you can try. Why don't you tell me your name that way? Ah, there you go. Hmm. Well, it's a bit scratchy, but I think I can make out your name. Um, well, while I can make it out, I'm not sure on the pronunciation. So then can I just call you my friend? Oh good, you nodded. Oh. You have some questions. Well, I do not have the time to answer many of your questions, so I will give you the basics. My name is La Vera, or the necromancer who just brought you back from the dead. <laughs> oh, that actually reminds me to ask you sometime what death is like. Hmm. Maybe I should wait to ask that, though, when you are able to speak once again. I do really need to figure out a way to restore the use of your vocal cords. All of my previous resurrections were lower-tier versions of you. Well, not you specifically. Hopefully, you are understanding what I meant by that. Anyways, they were lesser reanimated beings. They never had to use their vocal cords. Poor dears weren't even able to form noises like speech. I've never bothered with fixing their ability for it. I'm sure it won't take much fine-tuning of an incantation and burning some herbs. Uh, 
actually let me make a note of that. Oh, oh. you have another question? Oh, I like to talk a lot. Well, you're the first person I've spoken to in about... Oh, what's the year currently? Oh, does that even matter anymore? It's been well over a century at least. <laughs> oh, I realize that is a very long time to not talk to people. That's part of the reason as to why I actually brought you back from Death's Cold Grip. Hmm. Well, you see, while I have been up here, I have been by myself. Every now and then, a traveler will come up here, seeking my assistance, and then they leave. No one stays here for long, or talks much. So, it becomes a very lonely task. My research is, anyways. Hmm? Oh, what is my research? Well, it might seem a bit odd that I'm a necromancer and people have come to me for assistance, but it's very simple as to why they would. I develop cures to illnesses in the nearby village. They appreciate it and respect me in my space. I'm a sorceress who has many talents. Necromancy is mostly my offensive ability. I am honestly a healer more than anything. An immortal healer, thanks to my necromancy. However, despite my own immortality, it is impossible for me to make others immortal unless I resurrect them from the dead. So if someone who was alive came up here and wished to spend the rest of their life to keep me company, they would age and die of old age. I could resurrect them, of course, but then their quality of life would be poor due to their age. So making friends with the living is unfortunately out of the question for me. So originally, I refused to make any friends. But the lack of interaction lately has caused some adverse effects. Quite concerning, actually, considering that I never thought of myself as a people person. Hmm. Oh well. Long story short, I just needed some companionship before bringing the dead back to life, and living alone in a mountain drove me crazy. Communicating with the spirits of the dead most of the time isn't exactly a great substitute for social interaction, but it is better than nothing. But this will have to suffice for now, until I am able to make others immortal just like myself. Not that I would replace you, should I ever accomplish that task. I'd much prefer to focus my studies on ridding this world of disease first. So then, let's begin. I think we should start out with testing you. I want to figure out just how my superior resurrection worked. This was the first time I've used this spell successfully, so I wish to test a few things out. Don't worry though, I don't bite. My other resurrected beings do, though. So, best of luck to you, my new friend. <laughs> 